good what's going on, knuckle heads and wet shavers. I'm um, going to try something new today. Um, I'm going to call it This Week in Wet Shaving, or What's Up in Wet Shaving. I don't know if it's going to be weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. This might be the only one I do. Who knows? Let me know if you like this kind of video. just want to kind of give some updates on what's going on in wet shaving, different things, releases, drops, different stuff like that. But first, I just want to talk about my shave of the day today. My shave of the day today was I got a mail call of Alvado products, and so I used Pacific Coast Kahuna Shave Cream, followed it with the Balm Paragon Brush, so a bit of an all-Canadian there, and then with the Tatara Razor. And the reason I used the Tatara Razor today is because their second batch of the Masamoon um, razors dropped yesterday or the day before, so I think there's still some available. Get your hands on these. These are phenomenal, right? amazing, amazing razors. Now, if you saw my initial unboxing, um, the case that mine came in is not the same as the second batch. The second batch, I think they come in a cork case, still beautiful, really nicely made, um, but it'll be different, so don't freak out if you get a different box. Anyways, fantastic, fantastic razor, amazing shave. This cream, I was really impressed by uh, how much water it took, which is something I like in my soaps or creams. Uh, I find a lot of creams don't take a lot of water, and the lather just isn't that slick. You can't get that add enough water to make it perfect. Um, this had no problem. The scent on this, oh, it's like an aquatic um, bit of woods in there, I think, as well. A yeah, cl nice colony um, aquatic scent, really nice. A little bit, I don't want to say mature. Um, really nice for like all ages, I think. Um, really. I would wear a cologne that smells like this. It smells fantastic. Really nice stuff. Really st scent strength on this is fantastic. I'd say seven. Yeah, about a seven probably, which is pretty strong, especially for a cream. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. The bomb and these uh, non-aerosol pumps. Fantastic yet again. Again, the Pacific Coast Kahuna. Paragon brush again. Absolute beast at making lather. Oh my God, this thing's awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Anyways, um, so I did get a mail call from... Alvado, so included in that mail call was the Royal Tahitian Lime Shaving Cream and the Lake of the Woods Shaving Cream. This is one I think I've done a review or a video on, and my one complaint was that the scent strength was a little bit low. Just for me, it was like a two or a three maybe. And he jacked the scent strength up in this. Fantastic. Really like that one. Just an awesome, awesome scent. Check them out, I think, alvado.com or they're on well.ca. Um, look up the scent notes and stuff like that. Of course, Royal Tahitian Lime is lime. This has got some woods, um, fur needle. Oh, it says silver, silver fur needle right on there. Really nice scent. The Royal Tahitian Lime. I haven't even opened this one up yet. Oh, yeah. This is one of the best lime scents. Just fantastic, phenomenal stuff. Also included were the shaving cream, but in a non-aerosol, so this would be good for travel. Because these are travel safe, which is awesome. These containers are travel safe. Um, Lake of the Woods aftershave balm. Royal Tahitian Lime aftershave balm. And the Lake of the Woods shaving cream in the non cell too. So I'll probably be giving a couple of these away. Um, maybe on the Wet Shavers group. Maybe on YouTube. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe I'll do a YouTube giveaway and one on my Facebook group. We'll see. Who knows? So... Absolutely fantastic stuff, all of it, by the way. I love Alvado products. John at Alvado has always been good to me. I've done testing for him and stuff like that, so he always hooks me up. Fantastic guy. Again, thank you, John. So what I started this, wanted to do this for is because, just to update people on what's going on in wet shaving. Like I said, Tatara razors are dropping. Um, that darn Rob is going to be doing a drop. He canceled his last one. Um, something happened, I'm not sure what. Uh, but his next drop is going to be on next Tuesday at 9 Central. So be sure to see that. He makes just phenomenal brushes, just ridiculous. Like probably one of the hottest brush makers out, not looks wise, but like popularity wise. Okay. Um, also on Instagram, Gladiator Grooming is doing a brush giveaway. So check that out. Just type in Gladiator Grooming, all one word. They'll come up. Um, also on Instagram, West Coast Shaving is giving away 30 brushes, which is awesome. I have a few of their brushes. They're fantastic. Top quality. The knots in them are awesome. I think they're giving away synthetics in their new uh, range, new colors. Excellent, excellent. Get on there. It's free. Might as well get on Instagram and just do that. Excellent idea. Um, also, um, pretty cool information I've gotten is that Shave Bowl, Shave Bowl, all one word. Um, you've probably seen their modular white Shave Bowl that's like a scuttle and everything, all in one kind of thing. Looks like 
really awesome product, but they're also releasing two new colorways soon. I'm not sure exactly when. Um, they're gonna let me know when they're gonna be released and I'll update you guys. Um, but it's gray, stone gray, and black. Both look freaking awesome, like really, really cool. I like dark bowls, black bowls, because you can see your lab, they're a lot better. But that's just me. Um, also check out on Instagram, the holy black has a huge giveaway, a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm not even gonna begin to say what's in it because there's just a ton of stuff in it. Just go check it out. Also, I got some other stuff written down in my range leather case, so stick with me. Um, oh yeah, big announcement from PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. All of their soaps are now gonna be available in the Crown King formula, um, which is awesome, especially for me because the last two soaps I tried from PAA, something, something in them reacted to my face. Um, and it was a while ago, but then I got my re recent ones from West Coast Shaving, the Rum Runner and the Gatsby. No reaction. Love the soaps and it's the Crown King formula. So yeah, all soaps are available in the Crown King formula, so that is fantastic news for the people that like the Crown King formula. Um, also, uh, let's see here. Um, there's going to be some drops from uh, Lowborn Supply and that is on at 10 a... I think it's 10 o'clock, 10 a.m on Saturday. So he's going to be dropping a bunch. He's actually got the ones he's going to be dropping on Instagram. So if you look at look them up, you can see all the handles, see if you're interested, follow that. They go super fast. A buddy of mine just got one. So yeah, they sell out super quick. Um, let's see else what else I've written down here. Um, big thing out of Canada, first Canadian shave soaps. All their soaps are now available in the new formula, which is awesome. They've all got the new labeling. The new labels, um, I know Randy pretty well, are absolutely awesome. Um, they look fantastic. I think their old labels were a little bit too plain, just the beige label. The new labels look incredible. Um, so all of them have new labels the, in the new formula, which is an incredible formula, one of my top five of the year for sure. Um, also, big news, he's going to be doing aftershaves. There is the aftershave already out, just released recently um, for the barbershop and for the Polar Vortex, which is going to be awesome. I personally have the Polar Vortex on the way, both the soap and the aftershave and a tub of the Barbershop soap. So I'm super excited about that. Excited to see how cold it is. Um, I like the cold soap. One of my favorites was uh, Vostok from Queen Charlotte Soaps and their Ice Key Lime. They were two of my favorite soaps ever. Unfortunately, QCS, I don't even think they're, I don't think they're around anymore. I'm pretty sure they closed their doors, but I could be wrong. But yeah, so that's some stuff that I looked up. Also, Bull Goose has their new, the polished versions of their razors out. The Asylum RX and the, the Evolution or EXT. Super cool looking razor. Almost like a Darwin razor. That was a single edge. Those are out now. They look amazing. Um, lots of different stuff releasing. That's just what I can think of off the top of my head. Um, just if you're interested. Also, um, check out Brushcraft on Instagram. He made some brushes with a BC horn or something on the bottom and the top is like a bronze that's etched. It looks like it's probably the coolest, most amazing brush I've ever seen. A little bit pricey because of the etching, but his brushes are just, if you look at his prices, which are easier to look at, he shows his prices on his Facebook page. Um, brush, space, craft, you'll find them. Anyways, um, prices are super reasonable, amazing prices actually. Um, the one with the custom etching, a little bit more pricey, but the thing is, Arguably one of the nicest brushes I've ever seen. It's just beyond cool. Anyways, so let me know if you guys like this, um, if I should do more. If you're a vendor or an artisan, send me an email. Um, look back, I'll post my email underneath here. Um, let me know if you're having drops or releases coming out. Uh, just, I was gonna say, Olio Soapworks just released it, Sandalomo, Sandalomo, Sandalomo? I'm not sure, you can correct me. Um, she's doing a bunch of new stuff. So check her out as well. But yeah, just let me know down below if you know some stuff that's releasing. Let's just keep everybody informed what's going on because it's hard. There's so much stuff being released, new stuff, new vendors, new artisans all around. So just let me know down in the comments or send me an email and maybe the next time I do a video, I can include you in the next video, give some shout outs, everything like that. Um, again, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you super enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I love talking about Brushes are probably my favorite thing, but different soaps and aftershaves, all that stuff. Um, sharing my mail calls with you guys has just been awesome. It's really helped me out. Um, in this time, I've been having a rough go of it lately. So just doing this kind of, it's like a release for me. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. 
have a great day. I don't know if you can see out here, but you can see it's it's snowing out there, or it was. Maybe it's not anymore. I don't know. Maybe it stopped snowing. That's a good thing. All right. Anyways, cheers. Thanks again a million for watching. Have a great day, everybody.